Hi guys, happy Friday. If you watched my last vlog, you would know that we had a very big announcement and I actually hate when people do this because you basically already see it from the title. So you already know from the title, we are getting a puppy. a family who will be adopting our Malti Poo from and today's Friday evening and we're gonna pick him up tomorrow midday I'm very very excited like oh my god I'm so excited I have been like up all week just watching videos on Malti Poos and everything you should need and how to take care of a Malti Poo and obviously when we get the dog all of these new things will start to come into place how long he sleeps at night when to wake him up to go pee and potty etc all of that I think Additionally will come when we have him, but I'm trying to just load up my brain with everything so that we provide a safe place for our new dog um, I'm so 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 happy and so excited. This is gonna be my therapy dog. Not really but really you know emotionally so obviously it's friday like i said so we're not picking him today but i did want to show you guys his setup so far just fyi i'm going to do a whole video on all the things i bought and maybe with a little time in between that video and this video so i can see what works but for now i'm just going to show you initially what i bought for the puppy to enter into his new home and for himself to be comfortable so he is going to be a small small puppy so i picked up these really small um eating dishes and water dishes just because bowl i don't know why i said dish just because i know he's so tiny and the height of the bowl is not very high so i think this is perfect for him so this is where he is going to eat his breakfast lunch and dinner then here we have this nicely nook food corner kind of this is where his dry food is going to be stored i also bought this measuring cup thingy it has all the measurements on the side as well to help me make sure i have the right amount of food for him this is the travel bag there's me by the way this is a travel bag that we're going to take in the car it's going to be a four hour drive to adopt our puppy so yeah, i want him to be very comfortable i'm going to show you guys this is not how he's gonna be traveling this came with the bag but it's so thin and i don't think it's comfortable i'm basically just using it for extra stabilization but it's already quite stable this travel bag and i like it because you can open it from all sides at the top and the back also has a seatbelt loop and it also has a bag at the top here i have treats toilet bags um, chewing bones in here and then on this side i have his harness and an extra p med and a leash and this is the bag that i'm gonna take to meet him in here it's just one of these travel water bottles for a dog i have food in the top and then i'm gonna fill here with water puppies tend to get kind of car sick when you just get them and then you start driving randomly somewhere with them they don't know where they're going and they might just get car sick so i just want to have a towel just in case alongside extra pee pads then this is something additional this is his he has a lot of beds he has like four beds scattered across the apartment this is technically as well a bed and when i saw this i was like oh my god this matches our aesthetic perfectly it is thick it is comfortable it is like memory foam so basically when he's outside of his playpen in the living room this is where he can come and you know rest and lay down when he's not in his playpen i hope that functions i really do but if it doesn't i mean we still have this bed which we can move around all around the apartment so this is just temporary we've ordered him a proper house i understand the point of crate training and everything but i still want something that doesn't look that scary and that looks like a house rather than a um jail cell or like bars we actually bought him a house and like i said it's gonna come in maybe two weeks so this is our temporary solution here i just have some of his toys another blanket he has a lot of blankets uh just a little bit more backstory i already said he's an apricot mounty poo he is an f1b meaning that his father is 75 percent poodle he is going to be uh, nine weeks on the dot when we adopt him. So I'm gonna leave you guys here and I will see you guys tomorrow on our journey. We're gonna be leaving here at 6 a.m. I am so freaking excited. So see you guys then. Hi 
Hi guys, so it's been a minute. We have picked up our puppy. He is the calmest puppy ever. Oh, uh, we love him so much. He is just such a good boy. Let me show you guys him. Hi, Bo. He is so calm. He's like in his little car seat crate and he is just so calm. I think he wants to go to sleep. He's so tired. Oh my God, look at him. Oh, look at him. He doesn't really bark or like whine. He's just chill. Oh, oh my God. Oh, that is the freaking cutest thing ever. so it's a whoops <laughs> so um it's a little bit later since you guys saw me and i think i just showed you i don't really remember to be honest but i'm sure you guys have seen bo already so it's been a few days later it's actually wednesday it's lunchtime and i thought to give you guys like a little pup date um bo is actually in the room right now he's sleeping i'm gonna pick him up in a second i just want him to like chill for a minute but it's been really really good with Bo. he is such a great dog in general like he doesn't really cry whine he's active but not like so crazy we are new dog owners so i'm happy that we can enter this journey with a dog who's also really really calm in a good way so i'm really happy about that he still does a lot of dog things like he teeth he is teething as well so he does bite a bunch of random stuff and when he's really in the mood he like tries to nibble on my feet or on my fingers which is to be expected we do give him something for teething like these little bone things so he does take that and he you know choose that um the only issue we're having right now or really challenge is trying to potty train him from the beginning to go outside and pee and poop right now it's kind of like our mistake our fault because in the beginning we use only pee pads so he is kind of potty trained with pee pads he knows where to go he poops there he has had some accidents but he does go there and he goes there to pee and poop but we went to the vet and the vet was like okay you should really try to start you should have been started actually to make sure that he goes outside to do that because this can cause a lot of future behavioral issues and he's gonna think like if we go to a restaurant or if we go to somebody else's house and we take him he's gonna think that it's okay to just like pee and poop anywhere inside the house and not like rather outside so he is learning we love him my advice to you if you're also thinking about getting a dog like obviously we did a lot of research and i'll be honest like i did a ton of research but again it's a totally different ball game once you actually have the dog you know you have to pay for his liability insurance which i already knew but everything's just like racking so there was a liability insurance there's the health insurance in germany there's like a bunch of other things you have to do like we have to register him with the tax office so we have to pay a yearly tax of 120 euros I didn't know that before this is every single year we also had to register him again into another like dog registry for berlin so there was that that also had a charge of around like 17 euros and then we also had to register his microchip that was free at least there's three things that i had to pay for or we had to pay for I can't remember all of it right now but i promise i'm gonna make a proper video all about dogs like owning a dog in germany all the things that i've learned all the things that i've bought because i have bought so many things for him and i'm still trying to see like what he likes what he doesn't like and then i'm gonna make like an update video of everything that really made sense that's him right now he's so funny like he has his own little house we bought him a house for not this exact one, but we have a house for him in every room except the bedroom. So Sven has one in his room, I have this house, and then he has his bed in the living room. And every time we like bring him into, rather every time he comes into my office, I don't know if he loves this bed for sleeping so much, he crawls underneath my computer chair and he just like sits literally in between the computer or he's at my feet like at the footrest and it's like... I cannot even work because I'm so scared I'm gonna roll him over with my chair but that's literally where he likes to go. It's the cutest thing ever but <laughs> it's so scary because I just don't want to step on him. He's so small and so cute. Why is his head stretched out like that? <laughs> Bo! Gosh, he is so sleepy. Mm, look at him. Look at his cute face. He is just the best puppy ever. And he is absolutely tiny wait let me show you like this 
he's like really tiny. God, I thought he was like pooping in my hand. He's so tiny and so sweet. Let me just do like this. Bo, say hi to the camera. Say hi to the camera. He's just so good. I think he wants to go back to sleep, so I'll let him go back to sleep. Hey guys, so it's Thursday, but I'm gonna close out this vlog. I wanna start a weekend vlog, and I actually wanna edit this video today and get this out today for you so that's what i'm gonna do thank you guys for tuning in this was a surprise or the big announcement yeah we're really happy i'm really happy and you'll be seeing Bo a lot more in our videos so stay tuned